All right, just bought this used snoo and I'm gonna take it apart because there's a stain right there. There's a little bit of a dingy edge right here and I'd really like to just suck up some of the dust and I heard that things can get uh, stuck in between the mesh as well. So I'm gonna see to what degree I can uh, clean it up and there's no warranties for me to avoid, so it's all on me. First, I am going to take these screws out because that seems like the obvious first step. Pop right up with a thin flathead screwdriver. All right. Looks like this cover piece comes up. And I'm not going to mess much with this. However, I'm going to give it a little bit of a wipe down. Obviously, it was, I, I bet you that's puke. I mean, what else would it be in a baby's crib? There's some uh, stuff on the back side of this. Stuff you would never know about if you bought it and everything looked clean on the outside. So, no, I just... All right, now I'm going to take all these little clips out. I'm pretty sure that's part of what's holding the uh, fabric in place. Oh yeah, little tiny screws. Oops. Oh, and these little things come up too. soaking all of those clips and covers in water. I'll probably throw some OxyClean or something in there just to get them cleaned up. All right, all the clips are out. This fabric just came right up. I'm gonna show you the edge of that. That is pretty gross. However, it's still definitely secured onto the uh, outside. Hmm. I'm not seeing like a super obvious way to spraying it with some fabric treatment and I uh, used some wet rags to kind of scrub it out and that actually started working really really well we took um, a towel and laid it down in there so we didn't get any of the electronics wet but uh, yeah used a rag and then we actually leaned it over our bathtub and rinsed it all out really good to get all of the soap out of it and then a box fan just happens to fit perfectly on top of the snoo to um, help it dry really, really, really fast. So it looks remarkably cleaner than it did before. And we are both very happy with this. All right, just discovered that these screws are not so easy to get back in. You have to literally line it up exactly where it needs to be. And it is very difficult to see um, I actually had to take this metal plate off, get my flashlight out, and very carefully adjust it, um, and then very carefully put the plate back on, and then I was able to get them back in, and everything's good again, but hopefully these other ones will go in just as easy. All right, so it turns out this side was not uh, easier, it was the same, so you have to basically independently line up both of these sets of screws. I suggest screwing in the middle one first, that way it'll actually pull the other two um, up a little bit more flush and those will be easier to screw in. So now I just have to screw those down and then I can start putting the brackets back in and securing the fabric. Okay, so it's time to secure the fabric. Um, my approach is going to be to put the clips back down on the opposite ends first. I think the idea is to get this to lay as evenly 
as possible without creating any new wrinkles or anything. So uh, two ends and then I'll just kind of work diagonally. I think basically like you'd, you know, screw a tire on or something like that. Anyways, uh, I will give you an update. FYI, that is upside down. That is right side up. All right, this last part was a little trickier just because uh, you really do have to be careful. You have to make sure that the swivel base is uh, in exact center because you can see how if you were to clip that down crooked, it could actually um, cause a wrinkle all the way around. And I did come across a little bit of a alignment issue, which is really easy to fix. Just had to kind of back up and straighten everything out, but it looks really good. I think that's all, I think it's official. Now we just gotta put the mattress back in and we're good. All right, I think the finishing touches I'm gonna do are in regards to some of these pilled up parts of the fabric. I actually have a super legit fabric shaver, which I did lots of research and I think this is the best rated one. But anywho, I'm gonna shave this thing up and it should look sparkly fresh. It's alive. We didn't break it and it's clean and it's connected. And now we just need a baby.